Welcome to the homework for lesson 10. This is module 2 of grade 1. Write your name first so you don't forget it later. Do that first. And we're solving more plus 8s, and some of these are plus 7s, but we're, whatever we're going to do, we're going to make them into plus 10s. And here's how we do it. We take the smaller number, we break it up to make 10 with the larger number, and make it into a 10 plus. I'm going to write the 10 plus sentence that we change it to because we're using that teen trick to make 10. That works because 10 is so easy to add to. Just we want to keep thinking there's an 8. I'm thinking where can I find a 2? Well there isn't one there but I'm going to get one out of the 6 and there's going to be 4 left when I'm done. And if you have trouble figuring out what this other number is then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and count what's left. All right, that's the two that you needed to make the 10 with the eight, and you can see what's left, and that's how you can figure out what the second number is. So if you're having trouble decomposing the smaller add end, you know, breaking it up to make 10 with the other number, then that's, with the other add end, then that's what you have to do, then, then do that. Uh, and you can also draw, you know, you can also just draw the five group rows. You can draw the 10, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, always use five group rows, and then you need the six, right? And you can use X as one, two, three, four, five, six. And then you can see, oh, that's, right, that's 10 here, and then four more, 10, four, it's 14. And then uh, our 10 plus number sentence, We're going to see over here, we need a, a 10 4 number bond because we're going to match these up later. Because right, this is like a big mix and match. Right, so there's, and it can be really hard to see, especially if you're looking at this on an iPod or a phone screen. But down here, so we're looking for a 10 plus 4, and here we have a number bond. That's at parts of 10 and 4, so that's 10 plus 4. 14. And we can do all these, let's just do all these 10 plus number sentences so that we'll have all the 10 pluses figured out, and then we'll know which, we'll know right away how to match them up as we go down the other column. So this is 10 plus 1 is 11. And 10 plus 5 is 15. And 10 plus 2 is 12. And 10 plus 3 is 13. So it might help to do those first. And you'll see why as we go. You can kind of zoom in on the rest of the work that we have left to do. So 7 needs a 3. Or you could say you could look at the, uh, no, yeah, you could look at it this way too. Five needs another five. Usually that's a little bit easier for most first graders is to think that you need another five. You could break the seven into a five and a two, but I'm going to go with my theme of breaking up the smaller number. I need a three for that seven. And there's going to be two left. So that's going to be ten two. That's twelve. That's the ten plus two. So it goes up with that number bond. Now that I have it all written out, there's my 10 plus 2 equals 12. It's already fixed, so it's easier to recognize and find which number bond is supposed to match up. So here's my 8 by plus 8. So I need a 2. That's 2. So that's going to be 10, 3. That's 13. And that's this one down here is 10 plus 3 is 13. So those two match up. And we're looking at the 7. The 7 needs a 3, and there's only going to be 1 left in that 4, so that's 10, 1, 11, and that's 10 plus 1 is 11, that's one of the ones that's way up at top on the other side, so I'm going to zoom back out and link those two up. 
and we can see our last one is going to be this one here probably and let's just check that, that does equal 15 and it sure looks like it will 9 needs a 1 and 1 less than 6 is 5 so 10 5 15 and it does so it does match up on our second page we're completing number sentences so they equal the number bond that we see so for number 6 here <coughs> 10, 2, that's a 12. So we're looking for different ways to make 12. Well, if 10 and 2 is 12, then 9 needs 3. And if 9 needs 3, 8, you know, because 9 is one less, so it's going to need one more than 10 to make 12. And if 8, if 9 needs a 3, 8 has to need a 4. And if 8 needs a 4, 7 is going to need a 5. So you use this kind of pattern of the numbers, first add and getting smaller, the second add and has to get larger when the total stays the same. And you can also look at this and think about it backwards. So this 7 right here, you know you need a 3 to make 10, plus the 2 more, the 12. 3 plus 2, 5. You could do it like that too. And I'll do this, I'll do that this way. Uh... I'll do that for all of these in number seven. So if that helps, you can see it. So we have 10 and three making a 13. So nine needs a one and I know I need 13. So there's 10. I need three more. So one plus three is four. Eight I know needs a two to make 10 plus we'll need three more to make 13. So two plus three is five. Seven needs a three to make 10 plus 10 plus 3 is 13, so I'll need a 3, see, plus 3 is because it's 13, and 3 plus 3 is 6. And I'll just keep using that same trick. 9 needs a 1, and 14 is 10 plus 4, so that's 10 plus 4 is 5. 8 needs a 2 to make 10, and then plus 4 because 10 and 4 make 14. So that's 2 plus 4, and that's 6. And then 7 needs a 3 plus, so that's our 10. 7 plus the 3, and then I'll need 4 more to make 14, because 10 plus 4 is 14. And 3 plus 4, that's 7. Now if it went too fast, just pause it. Pause it and go back. It's a video. You can watch it over and over again if there's a part where you got stuck. Or you leave a comment to me. And if I can make the video better, leave a comment and uh, I'll, I'll do that part over again. 10 and 5 is 10, 5 is 15. So 15 is 9 plus, we need a 1. That makes the 10 plus 5 more. So that's a 6. Now we know all of these totals are going to be the same. So that's this has to be a 15. And this total has to be a 15. So our add ends, this is just exactly the same thing as above, except now sometimes some of the number sentences are backwards. So we have a total of 15, and that's 8 plus we need 2 to make the 10, plus 5 more to make 15. So that's a 7. And then 15 is going to be 7 plus, you can see 8 plus 7 is going to be 7 plus 8, uh, because it's just the same it's the same parts but just to keep going with the same method I've been using you need three more for that seven to make it ten plus five more to make it fifteen ten and five is fifteen and then we have eight three plus five is eight sixteen we have ten and six so you need one more to make ten and we're trying to make sixteen with this. So 9 plus 1 is 10, but we need 6 more to make it 16, so it's 9 plus 7. And this is really beginning to get us ready for subtracting, for breaking up, uh, taking 10s out and subtracting from 10 to add, to subtract. But right now we're just figuring all this out. So we know these are all have to have totals of 16. So this is a backwards number sentence, so the total goes there. And this is all going to have to equal 16, so the 16 has to go on this side because the parts have to go together in addition. 
and so if you have a number on just by itself on the other side that has to be the total because you can't add to the total so 16 equals 8 plus if you know your doubles you might know that one right off but 8 needs a 2 and then I need 6 more to make 16 because 8 and 2 make 10 2 plus 6 that's an 8 and then 7 here needs a 3 to make 10 plus 6 more that's a 9 7 8 9 parts of 10 and 7 make 17 well, this section right here, especially these last three, it's a puzzle. It really is. See if you can do this one by yourself. Now that you've seen lots of examples and you have a method to use, try it, pause the video, try it yourself. And you know, if you just don't know what to do next, then just follow along. All right, so now 9 plus 8. Um, here we have the two parts. We already know what the whole is because it's up here, 10, 7, and 17. And then here we have the hole and the hole. And we have to figure out what one of the parts are. So 17, 17. We know the total is 17. So 8 plus 8 needs a 2. And then that makes 10. 17 is 10 plus 7. So we then, there's our 10. And then we need 7 more. So 2 plus 7 is what this part has to be. And that's going to be 2 plus 7 is 9. And you might guess 8, 9, 10. Because... Our add -in keeps getting smaller. 7 needs a 3. And we're making 17. So that's 10. And then we need 7 more. 3 plus 7 is 10. Ah, oh, wait a minute. There's the 7. There's the 10. Ah, uh, right? So that should be 10 plus 7 is 17. And now we're done.